Hi, today we'll make a simple spring. Thanks to this screw modifier, it's very easy to do. So let's get started. I'm going to use the 2.81 version of Blender. First, let's delete the default cube. X to delete. A spring is a spiral. You can easily make a spiral by applying a screw modifier to a curve. The curve of our choice is a circle. So add a Bezier circle. Shift A, curve, circle. Be sure to select the curve circle, not the mesh circle. Now the screw modifier swirls the curve around its origin. So we have to move either the origin or the circle itself. Let's do the latter. So with the circle curve selected, go to edit mode and move it 10 units to the right. So G X 10. Enter. Fine. Then rotate the circle 90 degrees around the X axis. So R X 90. Enter. When done, go back to object mode. Now, with the circle selected, add a screw modifier. So modifiers, add modifier, screw. Now, to offset the revolution along the Z axis, set screw to 10 meters. To make the spring longer, increase the number of iterations to 10. Iterations, 10. Fine. And this is our spring. Now, before you can apply the screw modifier, you have to convert the curve to mesh. If you try to do it now, it doesn't work. You get an error. So, you can do it in the object menu. Just go to Object and select Convert to Mesh from Curve Meta Serve Text. Now it's a mesh, not a curve anymore. Now let's add a subdivision surface modifier. Subdivision surface with two subdivisions. We can apply the modifier. And let's go to Edit Mode and select the Edge Loop at the upper end of the spring. So let's just orbit to see this loop. Fine, it's over here. Now let's go to Edge Select Mode and we can now Hold down ALT and select one of these edges and the whole loop is selected. Now make a face by pressing F on your keyboard. Fine. And now select the last loop at the lower end of the spring. So, this is going to be very similar. OK. And also press F to make a face. Good. We're done with the modeling part. Time for some basic shading. Go to Object Mode and switch to Material Preview over here. Add a new material and set its metallic value to 1. Now go to Rendered Shading. Select the light and move it up 100 units. So G, Z, 100. Now make sure it's set to point type 
and set its power to 30,000 watts. Set the color to hex FF C972. Which is this sort of golden color. Now we want the camera to see the spring. So let's align it to the spring. First, select the spring and then in the view menu, select Align View, Align Active Camera to select it. Now, if you go to Camera View, hit zero on your numpad, you will see nothing. Well, select the camera and in the Object Data tab over here, you will see the reason. The clip end is by default set to 100 meters, which means anything that is farther away from the camera is not going to be rendered. Setting the clip end value to a higher number, like 300, will solve this problem and the spring will be rendered. Now a nice challenge would be to add some spring animations, like a simple harmonic motion, but it was supposed to be just a simple spring and so it is. So let's leave it off right here. Now you can render the image in the render menu if you like. Okay, that's it for this video. If you like it, a thumbs up would be great. Also, make sure to subscribe for future videos. If you want to leave a comment or ask a question, you're welcome to do so. Thanks for watching.